So since we have cleaned out so much of our deep freezer, I ended up going to the store and getting what is known around here as a pick five. I got five different things of meat. I ended up with two things of chicken and three things of hamburger meat and for just this week. And then I think by the weekend, we will be end up, we'll end up going to Costco and I will get some more bulk items. But this will get us through the week uh, for meals. And tonight, or today is Wednesday, and tonight we are going to church after church. We had some friends invite us over for supper, so we just need like a quick and easy lunch. And so I'm just going to throw together a very, very simple like little cheeseburger casserole. Um, just hamburger meat, you season it like a hamburger uh, or like a cheeseburger garlic, onion, salt and pepper, and then you mix some shredded cheese, two eggs, and it called for heavy cream, but I have half and half, and I'm just gonna use that um, as a topping, and then you can drizzle ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, whatever you like on your cheeseburger, we just kinda dress it however we want to, and it's like a little cheeseburger casserole. I also had picked up a salad kit, so we'll just have a little Caesar salad and a slice of cheeseburger casserole. I'm just cooking it in a little square casserole dish, so nothing fancy. So while I have both of the children kind of occupied, Lincoln is napping and Avery is watching a new show and playing in the living room. So I know I'm limited on my time. I've got the oven preheated. I have put my hamburger meat in the skillet and uh, browning it and then I'm going to shred my cheese and get my seasoning and eggs like everything combined that way once this is done browning I can dump it in and everything is ready to go all right I put in some garlic onion salt and pepper seasoning and I'm the meat has browned and so I'm just going to sprinkle that in and let that cook in it for just a few minutes I'm going to pour the meat mixture into this dish and half of the cheese and then I will take our mayonnaise cream and egg mixture and pour it in and then top with the rest of the cheese so since I am doing this in just the square pan I had cut the recipe in half the original recipe calls for two eggs I really just needed one so I kind of like eyeballed it so I poured that on top of here and I'm gonna just top with some more of this cheese I'm kind of just eyeballing the cheese because we really like cheese in this house. And um, it, the original recipe called for 12 ounces, so six would be half. But, and I know that this holds uh, two cups, so I just kind of eyeballed it and I figured we would have some cheese left over. Maybe, maybe not because we like our cheese. All right, so that will go in the oven. I will let that bake and then we will eat it with our Caesar salad and that is a just a quick and easy kind of late lunch early supper because we're gonna have a late supper later so whatever works y'all happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to mommy happy birthday to you are you excited I am so excited it's in the best. I can literally just sleep in the kitchen. I've been so excited. <laughs> we got all of our old pots and pans out and we decided to go with stainless steel. Avery took them. Yes. <laughs> she has, um, they're now in her kitchen. Mm -hmm. So she got those and we decided to go with stainless steel because of all the toxic chemical -y stuff that's on the nonstick cookware. So we're just slowly like transitioning yeah. over. Uh, so we did that and then we, we're getting our pan ready and tonight we're going to have some cube steak. We're going to bread it and put some slaw in there, do like a hamburger style chuck wagon, which um, if you're not from the south, just uh, just Google that and try to find you one because they're so good. So that's what we're doing tonight. One thing that we have learned with stainless steel, this is actually our first time cooking on stainless steel, so we will tell you how it goes. But what we've learned is that you've got to get the pan hot first, kind of like cast iron, and then you can do a water test to make sure that your food and stuff won't stick. So come a little closer, a little closer. 
Check this out. You know it's ready when it starts to bead. Watch this. When it all beads up together like that, you know your pan is ready to go. What you need to remember next is then you get your oil just at the same temperature as the pan. So never put in the oil and immediately put in the meat. So we're gonna put in the oil next, but actually first I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and bread everything. We're gonna put this down. Oh, okay. <laughs> For the batter, I have flour with chili powder, garlic powder, a little dash of onion powder and some salt. And then we didn't have any eggs, so we're just gonna use milk, milk and flour. And then we're gonna oil the pan and put it in the pan. You can't have a good chuck wagon without some slaw. So I am lathering up my sandwich with some slaw and throwing my bun on there. And we threw some french fries in the air fryer, so. We always end up devouring our food before we get to the video. It's like, it's cooked and then it's like, bam, stuff in our faces. But it was, it was delicious. I definitely give this a, a big yes. old 10 out of 10 because we're gonna be cooking this world because I love chuck wagons.